Almost nothing is known about the life of Bartolomeo de Novais Dias before 1487, except that he was at the court of Joao II, King of Portugal, 1455-1495, and was a superintendent of the royal warehouses. In August 1487, Diaz trio of ships departed from the port of Lisbon, Portugal. Diaz followed the route of 15th century Portuguese explorer Diogo Cao, who had followed the coast of Africa as far as present-day Cape Cross, Namibia. Diaz expedition party included six Africans who had been brought to Portugal by earlier explorers. Diaz dropped off the Africans at different ports along the coastline of Africa with supplies of gold and silver and messages of goodwill from the Portuguese to the indigenous peoples. The last two Africans were left at a place the Portuguese sailors called Angra do Salto, probably in modern Angola, and the expedition's supply ship was left there under the guard of nine men. In January 1488, as Diaz two ships sailed off the coast of South Africa, storms blew them away from the coast. Diaz is thought to have ordered a turn to the south of about 28 degrees, probably because he had prior knowledge of southeasterly winds that would take him around the tip of Africa and keep his ships from being dashed on the notoriously rocky shoreline. Diaz's decision was risky, but it worked. They found a bay they called Sao Bras, present-day Mossel Bay, and the much warmer waters of the Indian Ocean. From the shoreline, indigenous Khoi Khoi pelted Diaz ships with stones until an arrow fired by either Diaz or one of his men felled a tribesman. On the journey back, Diaz observed the southernmost point of Africa, later called Cabo das Orgulis, or Cape of Needles. Diaz named the rocky second Cape Cabo das Tormentos, Cape of Storms, for the tempestuous storms and strong Atlantic Antarctic currents that made ship travel so perilous. The returning mariners were met by triumphant crowds. In a private meeting with the king, however, Diaz was forced to explain his failure to meet up with Piver and Covilla. Despite his immense achievement, Diaz was never again put in a position of authority. Joao ordered that henceforth, maps would show the new name for Cabo das Tormentos Cabo de Boa Esperanza, or Cape of Good Hope. Following his expedition, Diaz settled for a time in Guinea in West Africa, where Portugal had established a gold trading site. Joao's successor, Manuel I, ordered Diaz to serve as a shipbuilding consultant for the expedition of Vasco da Gama. Diaz sailed with Vasco da Gama's expedition as far as the Cape Verde Islands, then returned to Guinea. Da Gama's ships reached their goal of India in May 1498, nearly a decade after Diaz's historic trip around the tip of Africa. Afterward, Manuel I sent out a massive fleet to India under Pedro Álvares Cabral, and Diaz captained four of the ships. They reached Brazil in March 1500, then headed across the Atlantic towards South Africa and, further ahead, the Indian subcontinent. At the feared Cabo das Tormentos, storms struck the fleet of 13 ships. In May 1500, four of the ships were wrecked, including Diaz, with all crew lost at sea. <laughs>